Hey guys, welcome to Data Track, your one-stop channel for all data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at dynamic pricing. Dynamic pricing is a concept where the price of the commodity can be adjusted dynamically depending on the varying or change, changing demand and supply. And this concept can be applied to e-commerce domain where we are changing the prices of the commodities in the e-commerce platform or it can be used in hospitality domain where the rooms are not getting filled, the hotel rooms or restaurants are not getting filled as expected. It can also be used in travel domain where the uh, flight or train or bus seats are not getting uh, filled as expected. And what we can do is we can correct the prices, lower down the prices such that the best mix of uh, revenue as well as slots can be filled. So in this video, we will look at uh, one of the example from the travel domain which is motivated uh, by uh, one of my own story that I went through. So uh, this is the post that I posted in LinkedIn. Uh, so basically I traveled with an airline recently and almost 15 to 20 percent of the flight seats were vacant. But still when I checked on the site and the app, the prices were increasing every uh, uh, single day like nearing to the journey day and uh, also the prices were significantly high. So this is an example of non-optimal pricing strategy in place. The flight prices should be such that it should be dynamic and self-correcting as the journey date is closed. If the expected slots booking are not happening, it should be self-correcting. A simple solution can be a forecasting system in place which can take price as a lever and look at all the other external factors like how, whether it's a season, non-season or whether it's a weekday weekend and how the past trend has been going on to correct the price such that the best mix of uh, slots fill and as well as revenue for the provider can be obtained. So yeah, that is what I have mentioned that uh, this can effectively fill the slots with confidence and this can be something that can benefit both the consumer and provider. Provider in terms of revenue and consumer in terms of they are getting more slots or more seats at affordable price. So let's look more into the proposed solution. First of all, what we will do is we will simulate the data for current scenario where slots are getting wasted. Then we will train a forecasting model which takes into account price, weekday, weekend, daily, days left before journey and also how the trend in the past data uh, is going on, how the seats are getting filled to predict the fillable slots at that price point given that time. And uh, the price correction can happen k days before the journey so that it's not random every day. If we do the correction on k day, then every passing day after that we'll have uh, the prices will monotonically increase and uh, how what should be the right or best permutation of prices such that the prices after the correction monotonically increases and as well as it it uh, do that fine trade off between slots fill and as well as revenue for the provider for that we will use an optimization layer uh, which will find the best set of monotonically increasing prices which can effectively fill the slots such that the wastage is minimum within the uh, acceptable threshold and also maximize the revenue and then we will measure the impact in uh, of this correction in terms of revenue uh, as well as slots coverage so in a way it will benefit both the provider because they are getting more revenue and the consumer they are getting seats or slots at affordable prices so now we will look at the Kaggle notebook how we solved it and what is the gain in terms of revenue and slots we are getting so I will make this Kaggle, Kaggle Notebooks link available in the description section. So uh, let's deep dive into it. Okay. So first of all, uh, what we have done is uh, generated or simulated the data. And these are the uh, values that we have used or constants we have defined. So days equal to 30 we, we mean that the booking starts 30 days in advance of the journey date. And min price, max price is the assumption that the prices of uh, can't go, be, uh, will be in between this range and it can't go uh, beyond this range. And total slots is 250. Let's say the flight seats, total number of seats are 250 and journey equal to 50. So we will simulate the data in such a way that we generate this data for 50 different journeys. And train validation is 0.75, which basically means we will use 75% of the data to train our model, which is a forecasting model, which can rightly predict the fillable slots at that price, looking at all other factors. And uh, assuming that the initial wastage is high, 15 to 20%. So different journeys may some may have 16, some may have 17. So we will randomly simulate the data. 
and assuming that the initial wastage is high and later once we have done the correction we will make sure that the wastage is not more than 2% so this is the emptiness threshold we have kept and days before we, uh, we will do the correction is 10 days before the journey but once we have this system in place the uh, airline or the company or the organization will have full control when they want to tweak when they want to do the correction but just for this uh, elementary notebook an elementary data set we have used the optimization day before journey where the correction happened as 10 days now uh, how should we simulate the data so the slots booking uh, should be dependent on two things right lower the prices more the booking will happen and also the booking increases as the journey date is near before because people will get more clarity of their traveling plans so there are other factors definitely like weekday, weekend, special event, season, off season. Uh, but to simplify for this elementary notebook, what we will do, we will just try to simulate data uh, that the fillable slots are uh, uh, factor or dependent only on the price and days left before the journey. And then we will use days left before the journey as a lever to implement the dynamic uh, pricing strategy that is adjust the prices and uh, strategy to minimize slots will be we will use days left before the journey as a lever to implement the self-correcting dynamic pricing strategy and this will increase companies revenue uh, and also it will be customer friendly as they will get more sales in affordable price which we have already mentioned so this is the code where i have generated the data where the current price like for every day i start with a uh, previous price and then add a value between 0 and 2500 so basically the prices are increasing every day and uh, how many slots are filled for that day uh, how many slots are filled overall will be equal to total slots and this will assuming that the wastage will be between minimum and maximum wastage percentage threshold that we have already defined 15 to 20 percent and uh, how are the slots getting filled every day so this is the in interesting part so we have, i have simulated data in such a way that uh, the uh, seats booking is directly uh, proportional to the days left before the journey because as the uh, journey date is near people have more clarity about their traveling plans and it's inversely proportional to the price higher the price less bookings will happen so in that way is directly proportional to time left before the journey and in inversely proportional to the pricing and then i have done some normalization so that i can uh, find uh, for each day what is the number of slots that we are uh, filled and also if you see I am, I am running this loop uh, up to journey days that is 50 days so I am generating this data for 50 different journeys as a result of this uh, I have a training data of this size and validation data of this size and this is the total data and if we see one of the journeys how it looks like you can see that this is the journey ID the day 1, day 2, day 3 and these are the prices and slots if you see carefully as the uh, prices increases the slots reduces but sometimes the slots are more uh, even if with the higher price why is that because we know slots are directly proportional to the uh, days left before the journey but inversely proportional to the price so it's a fine mix between two so somewhere we can see that uh, even if the price high in the next days we get more slots because uh, the data was generated in this in smarter uh, uh, fashion but overall if you see the slots are reducing uh, i mean the bookings uh, coming are reducing because people are booking but as the prices are uh, because the prices have increased and so this is the 30th day and the price is really high almost 10,000 rupees uh, so next what we will do is uh, we will do the modeling that try to uh, model it so for to model this uh, fillable slots given a price and days left before the journey we can also consider weekday weekend season off season and even uh, solve this problem in a time series way. Look at the pattern, how the slots booking are coming and try to predict how many slots booking will come in the next day. But keeping the thing simple, what we will do is we will here train a regression model with just price and day as the factors. But as I mentioned, all those things like day, uh, weekday, weekend, season, off season and modeling is as, uh, as a time series uh, data, all those things can be done. But uh, our purpose here is to just learn. So I have trained a model, regression model with price and day as a predictors to uh, predict what will be the uh, fillable slots given this price and these days left before the journey. So next we will see how good the model is. The model uh, has been trained on price and day and uh, the test and the uh, y variable is the slots that will be filled 
and uh, the models if you see the performance the root mean squared is 1.77 mean absolute error is 1.19 and the mean absolute percentage error is 17.97% which is pretty good right like even after not considering other features so mean absolute error of 1.19 means if my model predicts that fillable slots will be 14 it can be uh, like uh, 14 minus 1.19 or 14 plus 1.19 that is 15.19 or uh, 14 minus uh, 1.19 something uh, 12 point something but it won't uh, be uh, more bad than that so it's a good learning next uh, what we will do is uh, what I have done I have kept a dictionary so that in the optimizer layer I can do a fast lookup that for this price and these days left before the journey what is the predicted uh, fillable slots and then there are two functions m feasible and m revenue these are used by the optimization function we will come to these function when we are looking at the optimization layer and this is the optimization function or optimization layer simple strategy we have used the random search so what we are doing is uh, we know that the uh, price correction happens optimization day before journey which is 10 days so on the 20th day 21st day the price correction happens so what we want to do is uh, we will do a random search that we will select a price point and next day we will increase the price point and again we will increase the price point and again we will increase the price point for 10 for the 10 days and then we will see that is it a feasible price point is the those uh, series of 10 uh, price points is it feasible or not so what does it mean by feasible so we will now go to the feasible function so this function makes sure that the prices are not very low such that I have a surplus supply and also the uh, uh, prices are not very high that I don't have any supply. So it does a good mix that the total number of slots that I am getting at these series of 10 uh, price points is less than the available slots and also the uh, total slots that I am able to fill is uh, uh, not more than the wastage or emptiness threshold that I have uh, set. So, uh, so that is what I am doing. The total into empty threshold should be less than or equal to available slots minus temp. So, it will make sure that uh, the uh, the price points are such that the wastage is not uh, more than two percent, and uh, and also I don't have very uh, high supply that it should not happen that. Uh, that uh, my uh, the predicted slots that I am total number of slots I am getting is much more than the available slot. So both the condition it will make sure and if that is a physical if those uh, 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 permutation of 10 price points are valid then uh, it will return true. And also in the optimization function only I have made sure that the every day the price is increasing after the correction happens. And I have made sure in the optimization function that the current price is increasing every uh, day after the correction happens. That is current price is equal to previous price. Uh, and uh, somewhere between previous price into 1.15 which is a number more than the previous price and uh, also uh, since we are doing this random search many times 50,000 times I am making sure that the uh, the price points if it's valid it should also have the highest revenue if the revenue of this series of price points is greater than the best revenue realized so far then this will become the best revenue so far and so on and as a result of this, let's see what our final results are looking like. Uh, so for journey one, if we see the previous revenue was 302k and the new revenue is 426.754k and the revenue gain, gain is almost 125k and revenue gain in terms of percentage is 41.27% which is pretty good like almost 40% 50, 50 higher revenue we are getting. And available slots on those 10 days were 84, previously only 32 were getting filled because of the high prices. And now after dynamic pricing we have 79 slots filled, only 5 are getting wasted. And slots gain is almost 47 which is 79 minus 32, yes which is 47 and slots gain percentage is 146% more slots uh, we are getting in terms of percentage. And let's look how the uh, strategy is. This way the price is 8000, 8600, 8700, 9200 and so on till 10000 it was going. Now in the corrected pricing it starts from 4340, 4791, 4834, 5000, 6000, 6000, it, it maximum it goes till 7526. So if you can see here also the monotonically price are increasing but we are getting even more bookings because uh, the prices are customer friendly and also the revenue from 
these uh, slots, uh, these field slots, forecasted slots is much more than the realized one. And similarly, we can see for journey two, the uh, revenue gain is 51% and slots gain is 160%. Almost 40 more sleep seats are getting filled in. Similarly for journey three. So that's it for this video where we looked at an interesting concept of dynamic pricing. There we can dynamically uh, do the price correction because of the changing demand and supply of the commodity, the price correction needs to be done and uh, it can be applied to e-commerce domain, it can be applied to hospitality domain, it can be applied to the travel domain. And this, this video, we looked at a particular example of the travel domain where the flight seats were not getting completely filled. We applied dynamic pricing, price correction, k days before the journey and we realized or we predicted that if this system was in place, we could have realized high revenue as well as high slots utilization which is both beneficial to the provider and the consumer hope you like the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such interesting updates bye